Hello friends, we are up to spread 82. Now they're going to start taking a different format because previously it was first one card spreads, then two card, three card, etc, etc. Now we are up to spreads that are just 10 cards or more. Because now we're starting to get into themes of spreads instead of numbers of cards. So the first spread of this section is an unstructured 12 card spread. None of the cards have a specific meaning. There's just 12 cards in a grid to get more detailed information about the ongoing situation. So let's get into it. As a quick reminder, there are links in the description now to my personal website, my Discord server, and to my Buy Me A Coffee page. If any of those interest you, feel free to check them out. Being an unstructured spread, there's no specific meanings to go through for each card. So we're again using the Wizard's Tarot to do this demonstration. I'm going to read this as if I had a client in front of me, and these were the cards that showed up. So we're going to shuffle and see what the cards want to say today. Okay. So card one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Whenever I'm doing an unstructured spread, I always start by just looking at the overarching themes. How many of each suit? How many major arcana? How many upright? How many reversed? So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five out of the 12 cards reversed. So that's roughly balanced. How about for suits? For, I actually start with major arcana. One, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana. So this is dealing a lot with overarching forces of nature on our lives rather than the the down to earth stuff. As for suits, we have uh, for cups. We've got one. Two cups, one, two wands, two, three swords, no pentacles. Interesting. No pentacles. That's so not talking about home, family, or finances. This is about other parts of our life. Due to the prevalence of swords over any of the other suits. This is about some sort of ongoing trial. So we're just going to start reading with card number one. Card number one, the emperor reversed. Masculine authority is being abused, pertaining to whatever the trial is. There is a masculine-coded individual who is using their authority to create this problem. Card number two, the eight of wands, upright. So despite this misuse of masculine authority, there is still clear communication. Things are moving. Card three is the King of Cups upright. Some player in this story is an older masculine figure who's in touch with their emotions. This feels like someone who's available to help you. Okay, well, editing theory here. Somehow I managed to call the death card the devil card. So I'm correcting that here. The card of death is about endings and beginnings. In this case, this card is the opportunity for change. You can bring about the end of this situation and convert it into something new. Card five, the tower reversed. You can see the impending disaster. 
if you make the proper choices, you'll be able to avoid it. Especially with the next card, with card number six, the sun. Lots of masculine coded cards here. Although in this deck they do show the sun as a female figure. Traditionally it's more masculine. It is of action. It is of positive change. Card number seven is the Seven of Swords reversed. There is something sketchy going on. Make sure that when it comes to light, you're not the one left holding the bag. If you are uncomfortable with what you are being asked to do, don't do it. Make sure that you are on the right side of the law, that you can live with yourself. Card number eight is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is about asking for help when you need it. That ties back into several of these previous cards of communication. Lines of communication are open. You could still seek help. Uh, the King of Cups is there for you if you need him. Card number nine is Justice Upright. There is some sort of legal matter going on, which makes sense with a lot of these other cards. If I were reading this for someone in front of me, I would assume that there is some sort of fraud or theft going on at work, and that they're afraid they're going to get blamed for it. Okay, then we have the Four of Wands reversed. In this case, the Four of Wands feels like it is cautioning against false accomplishments. Typically, the Four of Wands is about celebrations, about receiving the reward of positive action. Beware false titles is what I'm getting from this. Card 11 is the Eight of Swords reversed. The Eight of Swords is about being trapped. It is being surrounded by blades on all sides. Being reversed, it's there is a way out if you're willing to take it. And it does, it's not without risk. That also goes back to the Six of Swords. There is help. It's okay to ask for help. Card number 12 is the Five of Cups. There is some pain that is going to happen through this process. There is some mourning. There is some loss. Taking this all together, even though there's that temptation to get back at this person who is causing problems, that would cause even more problems for you. Make sure you keep your hands clean, document everything, and ask for help from appropriate sources as you need it. Well, that is the unstructured 12-card reading. Again, just an example. If you would have interpreted any of these cards differently, let me know in the comments. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.